Hi, I'm Henrik from Henrik Academy. Today, my lesson is about laws of indices. Let's get started. Laws, laws of indices comprise of several laws or several rules. Are x to the power zero equal one? For example, f nine to the power zero result equal one. And if 25 to the power zero equal one or one million to the power zero equal one as well. Okay. Next rules. Next rule is x to the power negative n equal one over x to the power n. For example, if nine to the power negative one, we could write down become one over nine to the power one. Or if four to the power minus three, we could write down become one over four to the power three. Or if two to the power negative four, we could write down become one over two to the power four, like this, okay? Perhaps clear. Next, x to the power n times x to the power m equal x to the power n plus m. For example, if two to the power two times two to the power five, the result is two to the power two plus five, seven. Or another example, if four to the power negative two times four to the power seven, the result is four to the power five because if negative two plus seven equal five. Next, x to the power n divided x to the power m equal x to the power n minus m. For example, if three to the power four divided by three to the power one equal three to the power three. Why? Because four minus one equal three. Another example is if five squared divided by five to the power one equal five to the power one because two minus one equal one. Next, if x to the power n to the power n equal, equal x to the power n times m. For example, a five square to the power three, we could simplify become five to the power six because two times three equals six. Or if seven to the power negative one to the power two, we could simplify become seven 
to the power negative two. Okay. And next, x to the power n over m equal m root of x to the power n. For example, if x to the power two over three, we could write down become cube roots of x square. Like this. Okay. If x to the power a half, okay, we could write down become like this square root of x to the power one. If two here, uh, no need to write down two here. Okay, except three, four, five, six, and so on. You could write down here. Okay, let's continue to the next slide. Now, Q and A of uh, these problems. Simplify number one, three to the power four over three square times nine to the power negative four. You can simplify this uh, this one. This expression has become three to the power two. Why two? Because three minus because three to the power four over three to, to the power two equal three to the power two. Remember uh, the rules that if a to the power m over a to the power n, we could write down become a to the power m minus n, like this. So therefore, uh, the numerator become three to the power two. Now the denominator we call uh, three square. Why three square? Because nine equals three square. Three square to the power negative four. And these expressions we could write down become three square over three to the power negative eight. Why negative eight? Because two times negative four equal negative eight. Right, according to these rules, so we could simplify these expressions become three to the power two minus negative eight. And the result equal three to the power 10. So 3 to the power 10 is the simplifications of these expressions. Next number 2. 3 to the power 0 0.5 times 9 to the power a quarter. 3 to the power 0 0.5 times we could simplify uh, this 9 become three square, okay, three square times a quarter, like this. And this expressions, we could simplify become three to the power 0 0.5 times three to the power two over four, equal 0 0.5 as well, okay? Based on the indices rules that if a plus, sorry, f a to the power m, a times a to the power n equal a to the power m plus n. Okay, so we could apply these rules on these expressions become three to the power 
one because 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 equal one. So three to the power one or three is the simplifications of these expressions. All right, next, number three. Five to the power, five square to the power one third times 25 to the to the power two third times square root five. We could simplify these expressions and become like this, become five to the power two third times 25, simplify become five square, okay, five square to the power two third, okay, times square root, you could simplify become five to the power a half like this, okay. Now simplify these expressions become uh, five to the power two third plus two times two four plus four third plus a half equal five to the power uh, six. Third, why six? Because two plus four, six plus a half. And the simplest expression is five to the power two and a half. Okay, this is the simplest expressions of uh, these expressions, number three. And number four, cube roots of 25 times five to the power a half times cube roots of five square. Now, we need to simplify this, become uh, 25 become five square, and cube roots become one third, like this, okay. And times five, a half to the power of half times five, five square times uh, five square to the power one third. Okay. Next, become uh, five to the power two third. Why two third? Because two times one, right? Times five to the power a half times five to the power two third. Okay, I'm gonna use this space. Uh, we need to simplify this, become five, uh, look, two third plus two third become four third, right? Plus a half, this one. Okay, equal um, five to the power. We need to make the same denominator become six. Okay, six divided by three equal two. Two times four equal eight. Like this and plus because it's one plus and six divided by two equal three times one, still three. Okay, 
So this expressions become five equal 11, a uh, five to the power 11 over six. Or we could simplify this expression has become five to the power one and five over six. Okay, good. Now, uh, for this question and answer, we need to, to we will we will simplify uh, these problems, these expressions. If twenty seven over eight to the power two third, we could simplify it become um, twenty seven become three to the power three over eight become two to the power three like this okay to the power two third this one okay according to the uh in this is rules that if a to the power m to the power n equal a to the power m times n. We will, we will apply these rules into these expressions and it will become three to the power six over three because uh, according to these rules, three times two. Okay, become six over three and the denominator become two to the power three times uh, two become six over three. And the simplest expressions become three square over two square, okay? Or two, uh, three over two square like this. Or another simplification become nine over four like this. All right, now this one. Number two, we will simplify these expressions. Become according to the indices rules that if I use this space, if square a equal um, a to the power a half, like this. Right, so it means square root eight, we could write down, or we could simplify become eight to the power of half times 32 to the power of half like this. And divide it or uh, over, over 16 to the power, one fourth like this to the power a quarter like this. Now we could simplify a become two to the power three. This to the power a half times uh, 32. We could simplify become two to the power five to the power a half like this over 16 we could simplify become 2 to the power 4 to the power 1 fourth or a quarter right 
Now, we need to simplify uh, two to the power two to the power three to the power a half become two to the power three over two times two to the power five over two over two to the power one. Why one? Because four times a quarter equal four over four uh, equal one. So, right. Uh, next. Yeah, according to the rules, this is that uh, these expressions will become two to the power uh, eight because three plus five equal eight. Yeah, eight over two, right? Over two because two to the power one equal two. Okay, and two to the power eight over two equal two to the power four. By two, according to according to the uh, in this rules that we could simplify this expression to become two to the power four minus one, right? Equal two to the power three. This the simplifications of these expressions. Now, for the further information, if you need my next explanations regarding this topic, you could uh, send your email through my email, henrik.academy21 at gmail.com. Thank you for your watching. See you. Bye-bye.